So hey guys, my name is Eric Viking. I am the owner, promoter, and booker, it's just me, of um, PWE, which stands for Pro Wrestling Explosion. And, you know, I didn't want to become a public figure. I really just wanted to do this, you know, for, for me, the wrestlers, and the fans, without me being involved, but at our last event, Clash of the Neon Nebulas, um, Alex Payne and Shane Hagedorn threw down the PWE title belt. Not just on the ground, on the surface of the ring, they threw it outside of the ring, hit a fan in the leg, and then it landed on the concrete. And this title belt is something that I've invested in, and it, there, there's been a lot of disrespect coming from the Untouchables, Alex Payne, Shane Hagedorn, but you know when you throw down my title belt, I did exactly what any promoter would probably do. I took the headset off and I ran around the side of the ring and I confronted them and I took my belt back and I gave it to the referee because that championship match with Alex Payne versus Shockwave the Robot was going to be for the PWE title, not some weird fake championship belt that Shane Hagedorn and Alex Payne showed up with. Literally, Alex Payne shows up to the show wearing the belt around his waist, not my belt. And they just threw around my belt. I don't know what promoter wouldn't be pissed off at that. So, you know, if Alex Payne... If Alex Payne doesn't lose the belt on Friday night, February the 8th at Philomoca in Philly, that's the next show, I have to consider what my next options are. Should I quit PWE and just and just trash it like they've trashed PWE? I, I'm seriously considering what to do because promoting Alex Payne in the main events of all of my shows for what he's been champion for a year and a half. For me, promoting him, this is a guy, he's the odd man out in the locker room. Like when I started PWE, it wasn't to promote people like Alex Payne. It was to promote people like nice people, good hearted people, characters, fun. It's everything that Alex Payne and Shane Hagedorn aren't. They lie, they're liars, cheaters, disrespectful. It's, it's, it's everything that isn't PWE. It's basically PWE versus Alex Payne. That's how it's been for the past year and a half. And I've given Alex Payne Delirious and Cheeseburger and Joe Gacy and Shockwave the Robot. And he says, oh, I've beaten them all. I've He's cheated to beat them all, including Tracy Williams. It was a double pin. He didn't beat Tracy Williams. Then he, then he pinned Tracy Williams to get the belt at our first anniversary show. He, can, he, he also cheated, and the ref didn't see it. So there you go. Everything's been by cheating. So I'm, I'm at the end here. February 8th at Philomoca in Philadelphia. It's, it's, we get our title, title back or else, or else. So how about this? I've been talking to Shane Hagedorn about a tag match that he's wanted. Let's make Alex Payne do double duty on Friday, February the 8th at Philomoca. We're going to have Alex Payne defend his championship belt, which is my belt that he's thrown down numerous times against Tracy Williams. Tracy Williams, I will find a way by hook or by crook that he wins that title. Bef and, 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 he's, and Alex Payne might be a little tired because earlier in the night, we're going to have a match. It's going to be Shane Hagedorn and Alex Payne versus Ernie Osiris and a partner of his choosing. You know, not, not just me having a feud with Alex Payne, and Shane Hagedorn, they've also had a feud with Ernie Osiris, a guy that they've had in their past, and they've been feuding for a while. So let's do this. Double duty for Alex Payne. 
And I guarantee you, by the end of the night, or else, and when I say or else, I'm seriously considering ending PWE altogether, Alex Payne is not going to have the belt. Somebody else is, whether it's me or Tracy Williams. So that's what it's come down to, and um, I hope you guys, you know, I'm a little upset right now just because... I, I have to promote this guy, and, and he doesn't deserve that title. Somebody else deserves the title. Anybody in the locker room deserves the title. Everyone's been awesome except for Alex Payne. So I'll see you guys there. Um, I'm a little upset now, but I'll be much more cheerful at the, by the end of the night on February the 8th at Philomoca. I'll see you guys there in Philly.